Hello there, Caesar here. Been a long time, I know. But I decided to go on a day trip to check out a new go-to shelter of mine. So here I am inside the Demo Bivy. I've written about it before on my blog. I will put links below to my blog and to like older write-ups, but uh, here it is paired with my Mountain Laurel Designs Poncho Tarp, which I got about half a year ago. And full disclosure, I've not had a chance to try out the poncho tarp in the field just yet. It's been a very difficult half year, half a year or so, uh, for me to get trips. But um, anyhow, uh, in the future, this is going to be the go-to uh, piece of kit for weekenders or simple uh, overnight trips or in the summertime when I'll be, you know, trail shelter hopping. This will be nice. Now, if I was on an extended trip, like an extended section hike or maybe a through hike in the future I would throw in a flat tarp to use in, in addition to the um, the poncho tarp so it would be flat tarp and then poncho tarp would be used as like a vestibule uh, at one end of the shelter if you can imagine it pitched kind of like a huge vestibule in the, in the front or the back there so here I am inside the the bivy, I have the bivy, uh, it's got two loops on the front and the back, and you can see it makes kind of a triangle there, and that's the event material at the foot end, right? So it's uh, just connected with some guy line to the ridge line there. So let me get out of here, and I'll show you the rest of the setup. So as always, bear with me. I'm going to, I guess I could talk about fabric in case you're unaware, so I have, you know, the... Nano and uh, netting here. I have argon, which is not waterproof, but it's you know wind resistant, obviously, and uh, that's on the sides. The bottom is fully waterproof, very waterproof, silicone uh, polyester, and then as I said before, the foot and head end. So I guess I can show you the foot end here, if you can see. I guess it's kind of hard to see from the inside because it's tight in here in a bivy, but I'll show you on the outside. But the head end also has the even material. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Come on. I might have to put the camera down to get out. Hold on a second. There we go. So, I'm out. You can see what it looks like from outside the bivy. You'll notice the netting in the middle is there for venting purposes, so condensation does not build up inside the uh, bivy. And I'll show you when I get out of here too how the, um, the hood is, how it's worked up, how it's rigged so that rain uh, or snow or whatever would not get in. Alright, but yeah, here I am on the bivy. You have to imagine, you know, there's plenty of space, but a sleeping bag plus a sleeping mat, there'd be plenty of room. Let me turn around and show you how it's like on the other side. This is a side zip. And here's the head end hooked up there. And there's my boots, so I'll uh, get out and take a walk around. You know, I noticed too when I set up that the the bivy kind of floats above. I have a, as a ground cover. I just have a piece of SOL, um, you know, emergency blanket that I've trimmed. Um, oh, and I guess I should talk weights. Oh, you know what? I won't talk weights. I'll put that in the description below. Full weight breakdown. Let me get my boots on, and we'll take a walk around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Typical winter weather today for southern Sweden. We got some on and off showers, cloudy, but hey, you know, sometimes you just got to get out no matter what the weather. Okay, so I'll get out here. And there we are. So you see, that's the head end. The head end doesn't have as much of the event, but I think that was, um, that's good, because usually you want to protect your head and torso more whenever you're out in, a, uh, in, the, in the wild, as it were. Um, and then the foot end has got a little bit more of the event uh, waterproof, breathable, breathable fabric. I have it set up just with six uh, stakes, four in each corner and two on the sides. And I got some ridge line here. You see how it's set up there. Let me 
walk around a bit and show you, you the whole perimeter if you can see everything with my terrible camera work just on my phone here all right and what i was talking about before with the hood is you have here uh, i've wrapped it around here uh, with its own um you know to tighten the hood right i've wrapped it around the neck of the hood so you know definitely no water can get in you notice here if i push right even if a little pool of water forms there that's fine but it's not going to be able to you know be significant enough weight to get it to as you can see here it's attached to a cord a guy line which is attached to you know the ridge line pretty simple just a little you know simple knot there and that's that short and sweet um as i wrote on my blog i wrote a quick update on my blog earlier today i'm pretty happy as far as gear is concerned this is one exception of new gear that i've gotten recently with the mountain laurel designs this is the 2016 puncher tarp with the uh, new and improved silicone nylon uh, it's supposed to be slightly lighter and higher hydrostatic head which is great Let's see underneath there there's quite a bit of room and you see there with both of the the head and the foot end tied to the ridge lines it kind of floats a bit there but yeah i'm hoping to get this out in a in a few weeks i have a trip that's planned um, it depends on the weather. If it's going to be rain, I'll take the bivy. If it's going to be snow, I'll take a net tent because I find that net tents, uh, I have a mountain laurel design net tent and I could pair with this, um, is better at keeping, you know, snow uh, off of you um, than a bivy because the bivy, the snow can drift in and pile on top of the bivy, but with the net tent, it's got pretty steep um, sides there. Uh, all right, that's about it. I hope this was helpful, interesting. If you are thinking about doing a bivy and uh, tarp type shelter, uh, great. Uh, it's worked great for me. I'm a section hiker and a weekend warrior. Uh, the bivy and the poncho tarp work out great for certain applications, but on a longer trip, I would definitely, and for not much of a weight penalty, if I throw in an additional flat tarp, a dedicated flat tarp, you're looking at like two, 300 grams extra and you have like a pretty incredible like uh, setup as far as footprint goes usable space but just this on its own is pretty good i'm um, six foot tall and i have plenty of coverage there as you can you can see all right thanks for watching take care happy trails and goodbye